murder media. Ash and Gemini. What's up, everybody? It's Ash and Gemini, and this is Hip Hop Talk. Go ahead and smash that subscribe, hit the bell. October 25th, let's get started. Kanye West and Donald Trump, they met in the Oval Office recently and created quite an uproar. Even Snoop D-O-double-G started trolling Kanye West for it. I may be on a late freight, but I just found out who Kiki was. <laughs> Kiki is your bitch. That's why you're so mad. Because Drake put dick in your bitch. He did, huh? Drake, you a cold nigga, cuz. I like that song, but I ain't know why I liked it. I really like it now. Kiki, do you love me? Remember sucking me? And never have a never 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 thigh you. Yeah, he put dick in your bitch. How about that? Mm. Kiki, you bitch you. Oh. He fucked Kiki down, didn't he? Good shit, Drake. Did you pour champagne on her? Pretty savage by Snoop Dogg. Um, I understand why he's mad. I'm not sure why uh, he would throw uh, Kanye and the reference of Kiki with Drake uh, in there. Um, but I'm, I think it's more just he's just trolling Kanye. He don't like Kanye now because uh, politics divided the hip-hop community now. Um, a lot of artists went to the White House uh, with Obama, um, Common, Queen Latifah. Big Sean, Kendrick Lamar, Pusha T, Nicki Minaj, Ludacris, and even Will Smith. Um, a lot of people show their support for Obama. Not so much Trump. And uh, Kanye is one of the only ones in the hip-hop community that I can even think of that supports Trump. Let alone go into the Oval Office on camera and discuss and sit down and hug Donald Trump. I can see why people are mad. It's kind of like a Biggie and Tupac vibe. When I was a kid, I liked Tupac Shakur. I found him. And then I was like, whoa, this is nice. He said, fuck Biggie. So I literally went years without even listening to a song of Notorious B.I.G. If it came on, ah, fuck Biggie. Because Tupac said it. I was that kind of hip-hop fan. The same thing is going on now. Obama... Trump. And it's sad because it's in the hip-hop community now. Mainstream. Underground, we really are like fucking both, you know. But it's happening now. And it's gotten so out of control that you have rappers trolling instead of going in the studio, laying down bars. You didn't get to be where you're at now on Instagram doing videos. You're on Instagram doing videos when you should be in the studio working on an album, a hip-hop album, Snoop Line. And I like Snoop Dogg. I do. I just think that the game don't need that. The game needs more Eminem, Kamikaze type of bars and lyrics. But even Eminem regrets drawing the line in the sand at the BET Cypher and he expresses that in the ringer. Let me show you. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of his, I'm drawing in the sand a line you're either for or against. And if you can't decide who you like more in your split on who you should stand beside, I'll do it for you with this. Eminem followed that up with the worst year that he's ever had. Uh, then he comes out 2018 and he drops Kamikaze. And on the Kamikaze is a song called The Ringer. In The Ringer, it tells how he kind of regrets that line in the sand bar. It goes on and says, Because I feel like the beast of burden that lied in the sand. Was it even worth it? Because the way I see people turning is making it seem worthless and starting to defeat the purpose. So that right there tells me, hey, he realized it. And what'd he do? He ain't, he ain't a troller on social media. He dropped a fire album, Kamikaze. So that being said, stop trolling. Do what you was made to do. Be the star that got you there. 
get in the studio, make an album or a hit, and stop the foolishness. Make hip-hop great again.